What's up everybody, it's Bucky, and welcome to your 32nd PHP tutorial. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to make um, a confirmation code out of unique uh, random numbers, and we sent them their confirmation code in the email address, and as you can see right here, we sent them the confirmation code in a link, and we set it equal to the variable pass key. So now once they click that link, I'm going to be showing you guys what happens now. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and make a uh, file called confirmation.php. Since when they click that link, uh, as you could see, uh, if I can find it again, it's going to take them to a page called confirmation.php. So that's what we want to be building today, that confirmation page. So let's go ahead and delete this old script. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be working on the confirmation page, as you can see. So, of course, uh, the first thing you want to do is do your PHP tags. And the next thing you want to do after that is include your file. Uh, it's called something like uh, connect.php. Mine's going to be different than yours. Uh, you guys can name yours whatever you want. <coughs> and after you have that, let me move this in the center a little bit. You want to get um get actually the first thing we're going to want to do is set variable and we want to set the variable pass key cuz we we're going to be working with that. We're going to be working with this variable pass key, but it has no value right now. So we're going to say, "All right, where is this variable?" Well, we want to get this variable from the old passkey that we already set. And if you follow my tutorial and my code exactly, once you do this, you will now have the random uh, number generated in passkey, and it's going to be stored in this variable passkey. And if you're saying, all right, well, why don't I just use this if they're the exact same thing? You can use that, but it's going to be really confusing if you do. The next thing you're going to want to do is, is look at your table and make sure that there's only one pass key. And this is going to help because uh, it's only going to allow one user to register per email. So let's make a query. Let's go SQL. And remember, this is just what action do we want to perform. Um, what we want to do is uh, we want to select all the information where's my asterisk there you are Bessie from temp and remember temp is a temporary table where code and that's our secret code equals the variable pass key so again, we want to select, look at our table, our temporary table, and select all the uh, information from where the code, our secret code, equals this. And remember, this is the pass key right here. So this is going to allow for one user to register per email. And of course, we need a result. And let's make this uh, SQL1 and result1, just so I don't get confused and do my SQL query and this just means what action do you want to perform I want to perform the action dollar sign SQL 1 so once you have this actually that needs to be a variable then this action is going to be performed and it's going to do this so the next thing uh, that we're going to want to do is say alright if we successfully did that then we want to go ahead and enter all the data into the rest of our table. So, uh, actually, I'm going to show you guys that in the next tutorial. This one's getting kind of long. But just to recap one more time, this right here, it gets the variable from your email and sets it in the variable that you can use in your program. And right here, it selects all the information and makes sure that uh, your information is in that temporary database and it's gonna just select all the information right now and in the next tutorial we're gonna be uh, going over how to put that information from your temporary database 
into your permanent database. So I'm going to be posting this on my website, thenewboston.com. So if you have any questions, go to my site, thenewboston.com, and you can ask me there, and I'll help you out. Thanks, and make sure to watch the next tutorial.